Hey guys, welcome back to Ami's Cookies. Today's recipe is a easy Andhra style pappu charu. Pappu charu is nothing but a milder version of sambar. It's very easy to make and you need very minimal ingredients. So let us look into the ingredient list. You will need one and a half cup of tuwa dal, one lemon sized tamarind, two onions, two tomatoes, five to six green chilies, half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon mustard seeds, one teaspoon jeera, half teaspoon methi seeds, half teaspoon hing, some curry leaves and some coriander leaves. Pappu means dal and charu means rasam. And this is a mixed version of dal and rasam. Hence it is called pappu charu. Now let us see how to make this recipe. Into a cooker, take one and a half cups of tuar dal and wash this thoroughly twice. You wash it once, throw the water, wash it again. Now into this add five cups of water. So for one and a half cups of tuar dal, I am adding five cups of water. Now add half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, now mix this with a ladle, now put on the lid and cook this for 4 to 5 whistles. In 4 to 5 whistles, the dal will be cooked very well. It will be almost mashed. So that is how we want the dal to be cooked for this particular recipe. Soak a lemon sized tamarind in one glass of water. And take 7 to 8 garlic cloves and crush it. Now in a kadai or a vessel, add oil. Add half teaspoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon of jeera or cumin, one fourth teaspoon of methi seeds. Now add in the crushed garlic and curry leaves. And six to seven slit green chilies. You can adjust the spice. Now saute it really well and add two thinly sliced onions and saute it well. Now, as you can see that the onions are sauteed well, you can add two thinly sliced tomatoes and saute it well. You can make papucharu in many different ways. This is one version and this is a really tasty and easy way to make papucharu. Now, allow this to cook for some time until the tomatoes are mashed not completely mashed but cooked well once the tomatoes are cooked you can add in some hing around one fourth teaspoon to half teaspoon hing and saute it well in the meanwhile your dal is cooked this is after four to five whistles you can see it is perfectly mashed now with the help of a dal masher or just with the back of the spoon like i am doing you can nicely mix it combine it together 
making sure that there are no lumps. Now we can see that the dal is nicely mixed and nice and creamy without any lumps. Now into this we can add the tamarind water, squeeze the tamarind and add the water. Now into it add the sauteed onion tomato chilies and uh, the sauteed mixture. Combine it really well. Now into this I am going to add 2 glasses of water. This is a personal choice. Depends on how thick you want your papucharu to be. So we will be boiling this papucharu for around uh, 15 minutes. So you can add the water accordingly. Now switch on the flame and allow it to boil for 15 to 20 minutes. So the more you boil, the more tastier your papucharu will be. So once this starts boiling, you can add some coriander leaves and the stem. The stem will be really flavorful and goes very well in papucharu. That is it guys, your yummy papucharu is ready to serve. I hope you guys like this recipe and will definitely try this at home. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to Ami's Cookiesie.